to contribute. That's probably the best way to get your milk. That having been said, um, you do get some value to milk, obviously. Whey is the best part of the milk. That's the protein. That's where all the good protein is in, and that's where all the growth factors are in also. These zoonutrients, they call them. And I'm sorry, vegetarians, you're not going to get zoonutrients from plants. You get phytonutrients from plants, and that's great. But zoonutrients are only found in animal products like milk, like eggs, and to a, cer- to a certain extent in the flesh part of, of, of animals like meats and fish. Um, these zoonutrients include growth factors and, and lactoferrin, antibiotic types of substances, and they're rich in uh, the whey fraction of milk, and they're also found in milk. Uh, as far as copper goes, uh, copper is a super important nutrient. And one of the interesting things about copper that we don't really talk about a lot is that copper lives in balance with zinc. Uh, and we do get more copper. We tend to get more copper than zinc. Um, and most because of that, we don't really talk a lot about copper. But if you are supplementing with zinc, there's a good chance that you could run into copper deficiency. So you want to make sure that you're getting around 2 to 4 milligrams of copper a day. Uh, seafood is a great source of copper. Oysters uh, are especially uh, especially good source. Mushrooms, kale, uh, nuts will get you some, some uh, copper. Uh, chickpeas have copper in them. Dry fruits are really good source of copper, but the problem with dry fruits, of course, is you're going to get lots of sugar in there, too. Uh, as we, we were talking about avocados earlier, you get some copper in avocados also. And then uh, soy is also a good source of copper. Uh, let's see what else he said. Oh, the splits in the fingers and the hands. That's very common, and that's a uh, sign that you're de- uh, deficient in fats and fatty vitamins. It could be because you're not intaking fats and fatty vitamins, or it could be that you're uh, not absorbing fats and fatty vitamins if you have fat malabsorption syndrome. So if you got those splits, and they're, they're more common than you'd imagine. I see them all the time from being in the skincare business, splits in the fingers, the fingertips. The fingertips and the hands in general are the extremities of the body. And when the body is uh, deficient in nutrients, it will pull nutrients into the core of the body and away from the extremities, away from the toes and away from the fingers, away from the hands and away from the feet. So you'll notice these kinds of cuts in the skin and in the extremities of the body, these little fissures that are signs that the body's not healing or that the skin is not healing and that the skin is not growing correctly. And I would be focusing on fatty vitamins and essential fatty acids. That's the uh, ultimate EFAs from longevity, 20,000 international units of vitamin A a day, 400 international units of vitamin E a day, um, and then maybe a little bit of vitamin D, either from uh, omega-3 fats like uh, fish oil or from the sun. And then also focus on the absorption of said fats using the ultimate enzymes from longevity, using the Biolumin Nightly Essence. Probiotics are very important for fat absorption, and we don't talk about that anywhere near enough in my opinion, the fat absorption and the fat metabolism and fat processing benefits associated with using probiotics. And then, of course, uh, lecithin, bile salts, pancreatin, which is a digestive enzyme complex that's found in the pancreas. You can buy that as a supplement. That will also help with fat absorption. And also finishing up your meals with a little apple cider vinegar. As far as varicose veins go, think circulation. Think clogged lymph. Think clogged blood vessels. When blood vessels are clogged, blood doesn't make it on the return trip effectively. Blood pools into the bottom of the body, and that's what a varicose vein is. A varicose vein means venous blood is not making the return trip back to the heart as effectively as it should, and that means clogs in the lymph, in the, in the, blood, in the circulatory system, in the blood vessels, and also in the liver. So we're looking at general detoxification when it comes to varicose veins. They're usually associated with, with uh, constipation or long-term constipation. So fasting is a great way to help with uh, varicose veins simply because you'll, you'll relieve that toxicity and that congestion, that clogging in the lymph and the circulatory system and the liver. Using a rebounder can be effective for keeping everything moving around appropriately. Uh, eliminating constipation by using f- uh, fiber, maybe a couple of tablespoons of fiber ground up in your smoothie every morning. Magnesium can help reduce con- uh, constipation and help help improve blood flow, uh, venous blood flow and lymphatic flow as well. And then also deep breathing techniques. Don't forget those. Keeping things circulating. Varicose veins are a sign of poor circulation, and that usually means sluggishness and toxicity in the blood and the lymph and maybe in the liver, and usually that's secondary to digestive problems. Using probiotics, by the way, is also a great strategy for relieving constipation and for helping keep, for helping to keep fluids, blood fluids, as well as lymphatic fluids moving through the body effectively and also helping clear out the liver. Hope that helps you. Is that anything, anything else you want to ask? Or is yes, that, Ben, uh, yes. a nurse in Detroit did some research on B12. She was having issues, and the doctors kept uh, uh, diagnosing it wrong. And uh, she uh, discovered that she her body wasn't absorbing B12. and uh, she, she was really She really corrected her condition. And she Simply by using B12. 
Yeah, she's well. She gets injections now too, but she's going Smart. to a natural products uh, convention in uh, LA this weekend. Yep, up this weekend, and she's going to be there at a booth with one of the sponsors. But she's really trying to promote B12 because Some, she says so many things are autism and other true. things are, are are related to B12. It's true. And these doctors aren't getting it. It's true. B12 is like a master nutrient. Almost every single function in the body has some kind of B12 component, especially the nervous system, digestive system. It's stupendously important. And the thing about B12 is you need something called intrinsic factor, which is a protein that's secreted in the stomach in order to have B12 absorbed. If you have any stomach problems, that is literally the stomach, uh, you may have issues with intrinsic factor, which can lead to B12 deficiencies. And she's absolutely correct. And by the way, that natural products expo in Anaheim, I think it's in Anaheim in the spring. It's in Anaheim in the spring, and it's in Baltimore in the, uh, in the fall. If you can get to it, it's an amazing event. Uh, the problem with it is it's so overwhelming. There's, there's like five floors of booths and, and tables and pr uh, products, literally five levels at the Anaheim Convention Center, and it is just a zoo. But you get a lot of good, you can see a lot of in interesting products and a lot of interesting information. Not all of them good, but some of them are definitely good. Thanks for calling, John, from Michigan. Appreciate it. I've got to move on. Okay, buddy? Have a great day, man. All right, uh, let's go to Jess in Michigan. What is up, Jess? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good morning. What's going on? Well, uh, I have a godson, and... Can you speak up a little bit louder, Jess? I'm sorry. Speak into the mic in a little bit louder, and we've got to take a break, so we'll get to you when we come back. But see if you can speak up real loud and clear in the mic. I'm just having a little bit of a problem hearing you. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Many Americans suffer from poor digestion, which can adversely affect their health. For you guys who have digestive issues, glutathione is amazingly important for inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, stomach cancer. The glands of the stomach produce lots of glutathione. So glutathione's got multiple roles to play, and one of the best ways to upregulate to make more glutathione is to take the building blocks, glycine being one of the most important of the building blocks for making glutathione. Your ultimate enzymes contain something called trimethylglycine. We know it as betaine. We talk about betaine as an important ingredient for acidification, for keeping the pH of the stomach nice and low. But betaine can also help you make glutathione. Help your body build glutathione. Order Ultimate Enzymes by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or on the web at brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. Order today. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. It's time to get your green on with the great green sale from Freeze-Dry Guy. Now through St. Patrick's Day, March 17th, cases of delicious freeze-dried vegetables, green beans, and green peas are now on sale at veteran-owned freeze-dryguy.com. You don't need to be Irish to feel like you have pots of gold with a healthy supply of these delicious, nutritious green vegetables. They're perfect for your emergency preparedness needs or outdoor activities from camping to RV travel. Green beans and green peas, easy to prepare, easy to enjoy, and now easier than ever to buy. How about some green backs in your wallet or purse just for ordering? Act now, and Freeze Dry Guy will give you $25 in survival bucks for every case you purchase by St. Patty's Day. So get your green on now, veggie lovers. Call 866-404-3663. 
866-404-FOOD or log on to freezedryguy.com, freezedryguy.com. We all know that Berkey Water Purification Systems are the most trusted name in water filtration. As an authorized Berkey dealer for over six years and serving thousands of satisfied customers, the Berkey Guy offers amazing specials for Berkey Water Filtration Systems. The Berkey Light Systems include a set of self-sterilizing and recleanable black purification elements that purify water by removing chlorine, pathogenic bacteria, cysts and parasites to non-detectable levels and remove harmful chemicals such as herbicides and pesticides. Order the Berkey Light Systems system today complete with two black Berkey elements for only $231 and the Berkey guy will ship your order free of charge. With the purchase of a Berkey light, the Berkey guy is also offering a set of fluoride and arsenic filters for only $39.99. That's over 30% off the retail price. Call the Berkey guy at 1-877-886-3653. That's 1-877-886-3653. Or order online at GoBerkey.com. That's GoBerkey.com today. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. All right, we're back on the bright side. Jess in Michigan. What is going on? Let's uh, let's see what we can get. Uh, what we can do for you here, Jess. Okay, can you hear me now? Is this a little better? Just a little bit. I don't know. We got just some kind of muddy connection, but but see what we got. Why don't you ask me a question? I'll see how we can, if we can make it sure. happen. Um, my my uh, sister gave um, her son some sweeties because he has a, an issue with sugar. He's such a sugar junkie. Okay. And you give sweeties to a seven-year-old? Yeah, oh yeah, you, that's not a problem. But here's the deal: kids need protein really badly. They're growing, they're developing, they're they're burning through protein, especially if they're active, which most kids are. They're burning through protein. The average child doesn't get anywhere near enough protein. And when anybody, children or adults, don't get enough protein, they're going to crave sugar. That's because the body can use both for energy. So the bet, if you got a sugar craving, which the way you want to handle it, adult or child, especially child, is more protein. The Sweeties is going to help you metabolize sugar and utilize sugar, and that's great. And definitely kids can use the Sweeties. But what you really want to focus on with sugar cravings, adult or children, is more protein. I'd be getting the kid on whey protein. If he can do whey, that's the best. Starting off every day with eggs. Kids have really high protein needs. Uh, You want to use around a gram of protein for every pound of body weight per day for the kid. So if the kid weighs 60 pounds or 70 pounds, that's 60 or 70 grams of protein a day. That's two big scoops of whey protein, divided doses. That's how you want to look at sugar cravings and keep in mind cereal is sugar bread is sugar rice is sugar pasta is sugar fruit and fruit juice are sugar all that is sugar so if your kid is eating that kind those kinds of foods can't lay off the sugar treat that as a protein deficiency if it's an adult treat it as a combination of a protein deficiency with malabsorption issues with the children don't typically have the the same kind of malabsorption problems at least significant malabsorption problems that adults do sometimes they do but for the most part they don't so with adults you're going to have have to focus on uh, on malabsorption of protein in addition to protein intake. But with kids, I'd be up in the protein using eggs and whey, uh, and then high protein vegetable kinds of things like hemp seed or or flax seed or uh, or even soy if you can get it. Uh, if you can do fermented soy, if the kid can do miso or tempeh, that kind of thing. Does that help you, Jess? Yeah. And then one more thing. Sure. His mom is up putting things like oh uh, potato chips or corn chips in his lunch. And I'm thinking, I know he's going to want something with some salt in it. Well, you give him salt. You're right. He does want something with salt, and he wants something with fats. Kids, just like kids need protein more than adult, their needs are just as much or, or, or greater than adults. They also have greater needs for fat. Fat is important for the developing brain and the developing nervous system. So yeah, you're right. If you take the Fritos and the, and the potato chips out and don't replace them with anything, that's not going to do you any good. So what you do is you get some Brussels sprouts, you roast them up, and you chop them up real thin. When you make foods thin, you increase their flavor because you get more surface area to contact the taste buds on the tongue. So you roast your, your Brussels sprouts, you slice them up thin, and when you're roasting them, use lots of butter and coconut oil, sprinkle salt on top of that, and the kid isn't even going to notice the difference. In fact, the Brussels sprouts, because they're so dense and so uh, full of fiber, will be much more filling and much more satisfying than any corn chips or potato chips. You'll have to do a little more work. You'll have to roast the Brussels sprouts or the broccoli or the cauliflower, and you'll have to slice it up thin, but it'll be way worth it. Uh, and 
and you can't just take the potato chips out without replacing the oil and the fat. It's not going to work. The kid will find potato chips and corn chips in somebody else's lunch. All right, Jess? All right. Thanks so much. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. All right.